All right, Kenman here, and I forgot about this knife. <laughs> I picked this up when I went on my adventure with Titanium Justin and never got to making a video on it. Here we are. Let's get right to it. Oh my gosh. If you haven't seen, I will post a link down in the description. Titanium Justin came to the area and we met up and went on a little adventure at Shields. Checked out their knife selection. Made a few purchases. Had a silly fun time. Check it out. It was really good. But I... Never got around to making a little short video on this Gerber that I picked up when I was there. Check this bad boy out. Mmm. All right. I purchased this at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below yes so yeah justin and i picked up a few things i am one of those kind of suckers that doesn't want to go away empty-handed so even if i can't find something that i really want i'll kind of settle and that's i'm not saying this is a settle but we didn't really get anything too crazy um, when we went there, they did have some nice knives. And I'm excited about this Gerber. Let's check it out. So what do we have? This is the Gerber Tri-Tip Cleaver Fixed Blade. We have a 7CR17 MOV blade steel. Full tang, thick chunk. This is a beefy hog. It's got some weight to it. Comes with this aluminum handle with this green anno, kind of dull green. Nice texture, says Gerber right in there. On both sides, got a big lanyard loop. We should put a lanyard on there. Edyards, 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 Edyards. <laughs> um, got the Gerber kind of logo there. Little number, a serial number or something in there. Not too bad, keeps it kind of a clean, simple look everyone think about this does anybody have one of these i would say i almost want to put a lanyard on there i feel like it's a three finger grab and with something like this we're going to do some work i almost feel like i'd like that fourth although index finger riding out to the end i'm curious what would i use this for i could do some chopping um slicing or what what do we say comment below what is this style of cleaver best used for? <laughs> Around camp, throwing it at stuff, just creating havoc or specific tool use that someone would, maybe they've used it. This almost looks like it could be like a pry bar kind of a section. You can see how it's kind of a wedged area, but it's still thick and dense. It's not sharp at all. But that would be a, something that you could get in as like a pry bar or something. You have to be careful, obviously, if you're prying with something that's got a blade on the edge of it. I wonder how sharp that really is. It's thick, but uh, it's got that, looks like it's a hollow grind right there, I can feel. So it's going to help bring it to a sharper, I'm going to focus on that. Probably not. Help bring it to a sharper point right there. It's got a real thick mass, though. It's heavy. Okay, so not folding, no lock, no centering, no lock up, no clip swap, all those types of things. Enjoy this type of unboxing. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you would like to see more. It's a nice looking, fun little. If you like cleavers, I kind of have a soft spot for the cleaver. I don't know what it is. I just like the style, the look, the old school horror movie kind of quality to it. <laughs> um, no jimps at all, but it's kind of a curved, kind of a ramp poon. Well, not really because it's just one sweep. But the way that sweeps, my index finger does sit on there nicely. It feels like it's that's the spot. Like they shaped it around my hand right there. Feels good. Well, maybe I'll do a real good close-up here. 
the texture on that handle. I like those diamonds. Looks like those are pins. Hmm. So it doesn't really look like it's a screw that you could take those handles off. I have to pin those out. Interesting. Seems really quiet in here. Shh. All right. Let's get some measurements. I don't know. I'm sorry. Not that big. Under six inches. If I go to this angle, it's like five and seven eighths. Um, blade is kind of a weird one you can say you know look there it's a little more than three and eight three and a quarter um, but it kind of goes this way which is more like three or a little less cutting surface is right about three with a little curve to it handle is another weird measurement you know if you go that longest three and three eighths but it's kind of more straight across here it's like three and an eighth Definitely an odd, weird, smaller, interesting, and fun. I'll give it fun. KDK approved fun. Thick, wow. 18, 17. That is a thick chunk. What is it out here? So that 17 carries this whole plate section right there. And then you've got those relief cuts. And then the main fun. That is a deep cut sweep. You really stuck in there and it's far enough away. You could do some chopping and like hitting the table or, you know, obviously you want to hit the table, but you're chopping through your item, your carrots or your whatever. And uh, your knuckles aren't getting jammed into the table so you got that clearance that you can get in there and push all the way down and uh, have that space so it's got that going for it which is nice <laughs> um handles pretty thick pretty heavy 0.58 that way 1.09 it's like not a full size but a full size i don't know i compare everything with the pyrite Pirate is a nice, not quite full size, everyday carry button lock. A lot of different styles and varieties of the Pirate. Check one out if you're interested. Helps kind of just show you that this Gerber, the handle is definitely smaller, an inch smaller. Blades maybe an inch shorter, but the cutting surface is actually almost a little bit longer than the Pirate. How about that? We line that up. Definitely beats the pyrite by just a tiny little bit. Um, I do, like I said, enjoy cleavers. Here's the folding. If you're looking for a folding cleaver that takes up more space on the... <laughs> need to zoom out. This is the Civivi Mastodon. Like I said, I just like a cleaver. Here's a good example of a folder. It's a beast for a folding knife. Tell me how fun that is, though. Look at the cutting surface. It's fairly similar. The smaller Gerber, it packs a punch. It's got some mass. This is long for sure, but look at that thickness on that blade. It's taller even than the Mastodon. <laughs> oh, I'm a kid and having some fun. Corvid Mini Cleaver. Why wouldn't you want the smallest cleaver of all? And they all have green handles. What an interesting coincidence, I guess. I don't know. I do like a green handle. I did the dye on this one. I do a lot of custom stuff. If you're interested in that, check out the channel. Um, yeah, not bad. I kind of dig this little uh, fixed blade. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to do some uh, field test stuff with it. What would you recommend I use this for as a field test? Uh, trying to shave up some wood for like a fire or cutting up some apples or some food for a meal or what? Comment below. Tell me what you think. If you're interested in a fixed blade but maybe not something so chunky like that, I did recently get this Kubi Quaken. Check out the video on it up there. But nice little smaller thin 
fixed blade, you cut up a steak or something with this, do some serious work. Or you can chop some stuff with the Gerber tri-tip. Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.